Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Sir Miles back with some more Alive gameplay. Today, I'm versus a Riven in the top one on the main account. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we got Asic on ADC. We got Repose in mid. Uh, more like Rip Bozo, which is what we're going to do to this uh, freaking Riven. I'm going to record this one live. Most of the time, you'll see me uh, kind of doing the post uh, edited commentary, just because I give better commentary then. It's a little bit hard to play Hyula and focus up. Well, I need to. I'm trying not to let him proc my bone plating. Normally, I'd be like looking for like grasp here. Yeah, we're gonna get a few CS. Right back. She does have ignite, so she's gonna look for like really aggro early trades to try to, to to poke me down so she can get a kill. We obviously don't want to do that, but we do want to get experience. That is important. We'll look for these kind of Ws. It'd be nice if that minion was a little bit closer. A little bit unlucky that one minion would not die because of the way the aggro was shaping up, but it's okay. Now, Ribbon is a little bit difficult and that, like, it's how you throw your E's at her. i kind of bait her here, maybe. There we go. No way! This E! It's not... It, oh my... That's so bad. It's on any tentacle. Um, and it wasn't under turret. That's crazy. Okay, well, that was uh, atrocious, but it's okay, it's okay. Don't sweat. Don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. These are tentacles just to help out. We'd rather this minion not be in turret range. Okay, that's really good. That's going to help not put, create a push. We're a weak side right now. If you look at my jungler, my jungler is bot side. It's likely their Kha'Zix is going to look top side. But bot lane on my team is pretty aggro. So Kha'Zix could go top, could go bot. We don't really know. Echo's missing mid. I mean, this is just where we want to be. We want to hold it here as long as we can. Might look for a QE here. Just barely missed. So this kind of sucks, right? This is uh, going to start pushing. If we don't want, it's going to play into Riven's favor. Now, what we can do is we can look to be aggro and try to, like, poke down a little bit. Also getting a lot of mana. And again, our jungler is bot side, so we're weak side right now. We're going we're gonna to be quick to read Riven's movements. We're going to be quick to flash if we need to. Our goal here is not to is just not to die before our first teleport at this point. There we go. Abilities to see us the best we can from a distance. That was a little bit scary on walking up there. We're up to level 5, it's good. I'm just staring at the minimap right now, and, and in my peripheral, I'm keeping distance from Riven. Uh, we see Echo bot side. Echo's bot side, but still no Kha'Zix on the map. Ooh, that's really good E. And it's really interesting that she's like going defensive right now. Again, I'm just like walking up near her to see if she's going aggro or playing defensive. This is good because I might be able to get the final push here. Boom. Just enough mana. We can start doing the mana trick, but I still want to be careful of wherever Kha'Zix is. Like, it's wild that we haven't seen Kha'Zix anywhere. At the mana trick, at 35 mana, I can EW, and at 50 mana, I can uh, QW. Even though I have a ward in the river, Kha'Zix could easily find avenues so, to flank me in the tri-bush. Dual 6, big. She might try to all me at 6. No, Kha'Zix is mid. Remember, she still has Ignite, but we're really healthy. That's a thing that's keeping us in this lane right now. I'm going to save as much mana as I can right now. flash necessary i knew i had it i was i could have if i was at a like low probability play at that point i could have flash dodged the uh Rivenar. it was kind of difficult because she did stun me right before that's massive though i don't want to stay here like at least i want to go aggro i don't want to be aggro i might lose a plate though it's not a cannon wave so it's like kind of 50 50 if i lose a plate here because you'd expect kazakh to run up and catch a lot of this but kazakh is taking his gromp instead i'm always curious like is that the right play i always feel like it's not when my jungler does stuff like that. 
Okay, that's really, really good. We're gonna go for Ice from Gauntlet first. Ice from Gauntlet. Like, what mythic do I go here? What, what first item do I go? You know, I'm versus Raven Kazlix, right? High damage, low survivability, pretty good mobility. These are things that would indicate an Ice from Gauntlet play. You know, it's armor, which is really strong against Raven Kazlix. They're both mobile. The utility from slow is gonna slow them down. So it increase my E% percent hit rate. And then uh, just, just the longer these fights go, the stronger I will be. You know, I'm looking for... Uh, I'm looking to like E old W Q W, and if I die in the time it takes for me to cast all that stuff, then uh, it, it sucks, right? That's like kind of the danger of going damage. If I go dust blade, that would be the the, the damage. The the danger part is like, okay, well, what if I just died in the time it takes for me to cast everything? But we do have those long cast times. If I were running a lot of mana, I could have gotten like a, I could have, you know, instead of going Kindle Dome, I could have gone a, a tier with Ruby Crystal. But I think with the way I'm playing it, I think I'll be okay. I don't need a ton of damage to kill Riven just because she's so squishy. See how I just hold my E there for a long time? I'm letting that like stress build up in her the longer I go without throwing E, but I'm still running at her and near her. I'm like increasing that stress level. And it's kind of it kind of makes it more awkward for her to dodge it with uh, her abilities. Good, uh, we're, I mean, we're getting great damage off of here. Could be a dirty dive angle. Hmm, hold on. But I don't think I need to force it. Yeah. And then we just take plates, stress her out again. Just stress her out, cause her to miss as many minions as possible. And what we want to do now is we want to make Kazix to come up here. Cool. She got two plates for free. Denied a lot of minions. Oh, dude, so many dashes, man. Starting to be a little careful. Yep. Basically, I just know she wants to go for that, so I'm going to trade her. My bot lane has rotated up I, to get ripped. I don't know if that's the right play in this kind of game. Maybe if we were in the LCK. I don't mean uh, I don't mean on Korea so, so like you. I mean actually LCK is like what you need to warrant this kind of macro rotation. But nice. Okay, my whole team's rotating up. What's up, Asic? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. All right, we're all in. We're going. All right. This is wild. Hey, yo, I'll take it. This is gonna snowball me quickly to Iceborne Gauntlet. I'm gonna be able to 1v2 really effectively against uh, Kha'Zix Riven. Get the second slam. I'm not going for this turret yet. You know, I just want to get the slam so that way we can collect the gold whenever I need to. Uh, I don't really want to stay there, dude. Hopefully I can get out. Blank bot. I wonder if it's still worth seems a little seems a little wild, wild I'm not gonna lie. I think I should go top. I think I'm wasting too much time. Ooh, good, good, good. Okay. Or I could ult though. Nah, I think what happens here, like, is if I go bot, I think they're okay bot. Katarina's going. Oh, oh my gosh. The thing is, I'm going to give so many plays to Riven, and I really don't want to do that. I'm going to rely on my team to do what they need to do here. And I'm going to make sure that, like, this Riven doesn't get as much... All the play and the gold and all that. It doesn't go great. It's a 3 for 2 trade. I could have teleported and helped out, but... Then, so like the thing is, if I don't teleport, there's like a good chance that my team, it's like 50-50 if my team does well or, or wins or loses or like goes really close. They went pretty close, you know, two for three. Echo's got a lot out of it, but uh, but if I teleport, it's a 100% chance Ruben's going to get, you know, four plates in, in multiple waves. It's just a ton of gold. So, I think on average, the... Uh, Hang on. 
Maybe that was a little bit too aggro or too uh too much. Maybe I should just flash away and ran. Maybe I just actually just die. I don't know. Need tier two boots. I probably more physical killer as well. Do I go Merc Treads? It's gonna help with Poly, it's gonna help with Echo W, it's gonna help with Riven W. Hmm. I mean, I actually think it's Merc Treads. They're not the most AD based, like, attack based team. I'm gonna make my way bot. I probably need to rotate him at this point. <gasps> Let's go, let's go. Nice. Enemy has been slain. Oh my gosh, that sucks. Got him. Okay, that's good. Uh oh no, my friend, my brother. I don't think I was a twenty shots, man. Ooh, scary. Scary. Okay, watch. Oh no, well, no, no. Dude, this game is a fiasco, baby. I don't have any help. I'll get one shot by him. Imagine, I imagine Riven doesn't have ult or ignite. I think it's all ignite on uh, Jin. Let's just get out. I don't want to die to Riven though. Although it's really likely I could probably turn the kill on her if I like put a tentacle here and baited this, using the ward against her, knowing she's there. Mm. I like pickaxe and the hole breaker. Hole breaker like. It just, it's so good on its own, even if you're grouping. Like, if you're grouping, it's still really good. You get so many stats, like, the movement speed's really nice. But if you are split push, you're just an absolute behemoth. And it changes the dynamic of, like, how this ribbon has, how their team has to play. It really needs to be, like, Echo with teleports put against me. Or I'm always going to be, like, destroying ribbon in the sideline, and she can never help her team. So it really changes the dynamic uh, at a high level. The macro game is, is really why I like going hold breaker so much. Even though people, I think people get this idea that, oh, if you're grouping, you should, like, really never do it. But even if I'm grouping a good bit, I think it creates a threat if you're playing versus players who, like, are thinking about the macro game at a, you know, a high level. It really changes the dynamic. I'm going to go for the tier 2 turret here. I don't think we're getting this Drake with our bot lane dead. And Riven's not here, so it's going to it's gonna create some sort of punish for their the fact that they're all landing on this Drake right now. We need to create some sort of punish. I wish there was a better teleport to go to there. I'm gonna push. You're fighting mid Echo's bot. I'm gonna try to get Ribbon and uh, Kha'Zix to 1v2 me right now because Kha'Zix just, just res and he's gonna want to come help. This guy's is getting really strong. Scary. Oh my god, so strong, dude. I think he's gonna leave me be. I'm not gonna go chase Ribbon around the world. No way! No! Okay, Lulu gets the kill, that's fine. I can't believe I missed Eon to Lulu, that was slowed by a freaking Icewing Gauntlet, but not a big deal, not a big deal. Okay. We got Ignite out of her, like, we got all, we got, we got a lot of stuff. So it's okay, it's okay. 
That, if I hit that E, though, it makes it a lot difficult. I think that ties are rotating over, so I'm probably dead in the long run. It depends on, like, how much threat I create to, to counter. But because I got, you know, Riven really low, I Lulu burned a lot of stuff. We do get Rifts for free. I do need to find my avenue into helping my team out on this Kaiza, which is going to be basically me trying to, like, flash old W, like, WI swing out less slow onto her kind of deal. Do I sell this for... Maybe I do. I don't like it, but I just I just hate, like, losing tempo right now if I'm not pushing. And I've got four minutes, three minutes on Baron, four minutes on Drake. I want to get pushing. I want to start working on this bot tier one, bot tier two. I want to get going. Because the longer I wait, the more this stuff is going to happen, and I can't be having this. Oh, so bad. I've got to push bot. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go. Like I mean, like like a six not rotating. Like we both know this is a lost cause. We just need to get doing our thing in the mid and bot. Try to push pressure. If we get bot tier one, mid tier one, then it's okay. Yeah, it's a it's a trade at least. It's a mitigation strategy. My typical strategy is always to be proactive, not reactive. This is a proactive play. You know, reacting to top would be like wasting my teleport, spending a lot of time chasing them down. I don't want to do that. And look at the map right now. We've got four people on the map. It's only me in the bot lane. And Ka yeah, Kha'Zix is here, but he's not going to be able to stop me. This is likely going to bring over um, a few other folks. Go. This is my moment. No, she's so fed. She's so strong. Oh, dang, dude. Seriously, if she wasn't at two, three items already, if she was at two items, which is more in line with where she should be at this point in the game. That's likely a one v four play. All I have more kind of screws me over a little bit, but. More just the the fact she burst me down twenty. I mean, she did all the damage twenty three hundred damage in that like how quick she was in that fight for. I mean, how how long was she in that fight for? I basically flash old W'd, and then at that point I was at like two hundred HP when I was here. And even though I missed E because of her invis, I was so freaking low at that point. Not really sure what happened, but I guess Kaiza doing Kaiza things. Oh my god, dude. It's a catastrophe. I don't know what happened. Dang it, man. I, I destroyed Riven. Like, I played pretty well in the in the top lane. I love the Riven matchup. I really do. But hopefully you took something away from this game. I think it's still worth the video, so be sure to like and subscribe. And I've been doing some coaching, so check that out down below. I, it's still worth the video because, you know, that really is how you play versus Riven. Uh, I outplayed her a few times. I lane versed her pretty well. I read the mini map well. Uh, all the things. I did everything correct. But sometimes the life of a top laner, you know. Kaisa's. The, the really, I mean, it is an honest point, which is your the enemy ADC is the most likely person to out carry you at the end of the day. And it's just kind of the way it is. Minus 24. Top damage by a long shot on our team. It's all right. It's all good. It's all good. S minus. What are you gonna do? Let's check the dan let's check the gold graph just to see like where we got a lot of gold. I don't know if I love like I don't know if I love what my team did though. Like we really the thing is we didn't need everyone to go to that rift. We could have just saved our bot lane bot, but maybe they just felt like they couldn't do anything against their bot lane at that point in the game, so it didn't matter if they were bot. Yeah, we had a 14 or gold lead at you know, 10 minutes. That's really strong. Like, and part of that is because we took the turret there. But even before that, I had a 800 gold lead. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.